water. You don't provide water on the show? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as promised, I actually brought my sister here. So this is like, ever since I started the channel, I have been waiting, like I've been, you know, trying to get her to come, but then it has taken me so long. So I think this is a Christmas something. So in the spirit of Christmas, mm -hmm. she's here. And my name is Ifa Labi. I wanted to say welcome back to my channel, right? So I'm going to let my sister introduce herself and why she's here. Hi, my name is Albi. I'm here because like I watched the Justice League and I've come to give my thoughts on it and then the Planet X thingy. Crisis on FX. Crisis on Crisis on FX. Yes, Crisis, <laughs> Crisis on FX. <laughs> okay, so basically this is what we are going to do, right? So mm -hmm. I've already spoken about Justice League, but I did Justice League versus Thor Ragnarok. But we decided why are we pitching Marvel versus DC? Let's do DC versus DC. So we are doing Justice League versus Crisis on FX. So Crisis on FX was is part of like the Arrowverse. Yes, it's the Arrowverse. The yes, whole. so the Arrowverse, like there are four shows on CW that is from Arrow. So Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, Flash, and Arrow. So every year they do this whole big crossover event. So like all the superheroes from each uh, show they come together and then you know they fight a common enemy so last year it was aliens versus humans yeah last year was aliens and the dominators, the dominators versus yeah, yeah and then this year they decided to do like crisis on fx so in that world they've established that there are 52 Earths, but this time they brought out that actually there are 53 Earths. so on the 53rd Earth, they are like nazi so like is their evil self so on the 53rd Earth. They are, it's also called the FX, so they are evil people. So, first of all, I'm going to do, so in terms of plot, so between Justice League and Crisis on FX, which was your favorite one? The Crisis on FX was like the, my favorite compared to the both of them. Okay, so this is it, right? So, before people are like, oh, why don't you do a check-in on the whole Arrowverse? What makes Crisis on FX very distinct is that it's a whole event. Like, they've put it as, as, a, an, as an event on its own. So, you mm -hmm. sometimes, you might need to watch each of the shows to so actually get, like, the little backstories, the, like, you know, the little quips and everything. But then, you can actually watch it on its own and actually enjoy it. So, like, that's the whole point of it, right? So Justice League, the plot for Justice League, I keep on, like I said it, I think it was very loosely written, like, we were supposed to follow the plot to the end. Yeah, just because, I don't know. Just because it's like, okay, so we are beginning with uh, Wonder Woman. So Wonder Woman comes in and then you see Batman with Aquaman. Like, we get it, he's trying to, but then it's like, they didn't really make every superhero Maybe because the movies aren't out, like the rest of the movies, like Aquaman movie isn't out, the Flash movie isn't out, and then the the Cyborg movie isn't out, so we don't really get yeah, it. But, but then still, I I just don't feel. I like not I said yeah, not I said like if you put all of it together, I said I'm no more yet in Queen Bee and Yede. Like you guys, yeah, 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 like a studio that wasn't nice. So it was just horrible. And like so the, for the plot, because first of all, you see on Crisis on Earth X. They are, you are fighting your evil doppel like imagine if like another person from another earth comes and is the evil you like the person is more meaner than you the person is evil do you get to, that makes more so like that drives a plot because yeah you're like okay i want to see like i want to defeat my evil person right yeah so i want to see maybe how evil i can get like okay let's see in this situation i'll do this so let me not do what the person would do and defeat the person like you're trying to fight against yourself i think in a way do i Trying to find like their own demons somehow, somehow there's like some support, like some sub theme. Yeah, like there, like Arrow keeps on killing people, but then there was still this sense of family that like, he always took care of his family. Even in the Earth of uh, Christ on Planet X, he was still fighting for his family. Yeah, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, this is the thing about the Christ on FX. I really like the chemistry between Stephen Amell and Melissa Benoist. Okay, so when it comes to the villains, right, I can, you see, I, I was talking about how Steppenwolf wasn't that great of a villain. And I actually got to read some of the scripts that were supposed to appear in the Justice League. And you see, the point is that Steppenwolf wasn't built up for us. Like, he was so, he was too abstract a villain. Yeah, it's, it's like, like, out of, he came out of nowhere. Steppenwolf, it's like, I don't he didn't have that much of a back story for him to be a villain villain for superman to come out of death to come and kill him i didn't i don't think i think they could have done it without superman i actually think they could have done it without superman because it was so frustrating to see 
like he wasn't that it's just it's just frustrating to see that they had to bring superman from the dead to come and fight stepping wolf and it's like they weren't using like they weren't using their full abilities and their potentials like they weren't fighting to their abilities because wonder woman knows she can do like it's like i'm holding back i don't want to like the world's come to end but then oh let me hold back because yeah, I'm waiting for Superman. Yeah, I'm waiting for Superman. Let's yeah. go back. Yeah, because so it makes that people become very irritating. Very, very, yeah. very. Because so, <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, because once again, Crisis on FX, the villains were like, it's like we knew the villains, but we didn't know them. Yeah. Because you know, Yobaton was the only villain we actually knew. Like, he was like, okay, this guy is wicked. Yeah, we know. We all know, like, Yobaton's. <laughs> We all know what he has done in Flash season one, season two, in Legends of Tomorrow. We all know what he's done. So when we when we actually met the the evil um the evil supergirl, the evil arrow, it was just I was like, Wow, this is this is actually like really nice. Like and then a villain. Could, yeah, and then they embraced it. Like you could clearly see the difference between evil supergirl and then goody goody girly super girl like you could clearly see the difference you see and, and like you see okay not not scary but you see that like this shows that if there was like uh, a budget because you know for the tv they don't have like a big budget yeah so if like there was a big budget for like the arrow the crisis on fx would have been it so have amazing been. it's like the justice league we deserve yeah the ones we got so dc Zack snyder joss whedon all of them all of you and deborah snyder too who's deborah snyder his sister, apparently he's part of the production. Really? Mm. It's alright. The brass night. I'm like, so it's a family business. That's sad. Very sad. <laughs> so basically, all of you that were in charge, y'all didn't force for us. Mm -mm. Because after I watched, I was so excited, but I came back to think about it again. And I was like, we don't deserve this. Oh, you were excited? I wasn't. I was so disappointed. Like, in the cinema, I'm like, I feel so hollow. Like, I have so much energy and so much Fun. Like I'm, oh my god, I'm going to watch Justice League, and then I got there, and then it was over, and I'm like, wait, is that all? It's like I'm missing something. A part of me is missing because when you watch the animation, that the animation is so on point. The animation is so nice. You watch um their series, so their TV series is so nice. So I had really high hopes for it, and <laughs> I don't know. I I just. I was really heartbroken when I finished watching it. I was really, really heartbroken. Honestly, I, when I when I first saw it, I was so excited. I was like, "Oh, look at this!" But then I think in the past week, especially after I read like the deleted scenes. Okay, I didn't read anything. I, I really don't read. <laughs> the only thing I read is synopsis. I really don't read deleted scenes, edited scenes, all those things. I really don't read it. I just watch what I get, and get heartbroken at the end or oh, happy. So like it, it was just crazy and then characters right you know like when we're saying that it, it looked like they were all holding back they were because what was, like you're telling me about like aquaman yeah aquaman in the movies he's like i mean in the scene in the Animation. animations he's he's like that he's literally the king of the waters like everything he talks to fish he commands what are the sea waves everything like he can cause a tsunami if he wishes he can do anything he likes but then here i don't know it's like aquaman is he, he could have even used water to crash stepping wolf like he could have water not enough oh, to describe the pc <laughs> When when I say Aquaman wasn't used to his full potential, it's like it just it just tears me up because it's like they should have tapped into a little bit of their dark side to fight this villain, to fight Steppenwolf. Because first of all, he's evil. He's not coming to do all because people are all like heroes in your own right. I'm not coming to unleash my full wrath on you. He wasn't doing that. He was giving them all he got, and then they were like. Oh no, we are good people. We are not trying to destroy the earth. First of all, they were nowhere near civilization. I think so. Which, which was a weird thing. Why weren't yeah. they near civilization? I mean, the whole point, point was to spoil the earth. Like, was to see people die. So if yeah, no, like, they, 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 like they just took um, an area. They just took Tema, and then they barricaded the stepping wolf guy. Just put a whole barricade around it, and it's like, yeah, this is my base of operations. So from here, I'm going to destroy the rest of the world, which I get. But then we only see one family run out. 
like if it's a whole town why is just why is it just one family that they base so much emphasis on and i don't even know that i don't know the time frame yeah because like the family were there before the girl took the insecticide spray before <gasps> when the parademons people yeah like i was confused i'm like so wait they had to actually stay there for how long how many was it days was it weeks because they were fighting the stepping wolf guy all over the place whilst they were still there so i was yeah okay you know the timeline the was, timeline was uh, uh, they were yes they weren't proactive they weren't up to they weren't going through like they weren't using their abilities to their full potential they were just laid back fighting him joking around mm. yeah no even the jokes felt some way the jokes were so flat like the, the jokes were not natural at all like there was nothing natural about the jokes it's like okay yay is let me just yeah, it's a very there were no serious very serious tense situations for the jokes to really like sort of lighten the mood yeah you see when a crisis on fx when they were fighting over girl in f1 in central city yeah and then cisco was like oh my god i love a good movie reference you know that yeah, was funny that was funny because we all know okay maybe it's because we all know the characters but then we all know because it was like this is like um the police one made a reference and it was like oh yeah i really like a good movie reference and then i was like this is not a time to laugh like we know that was like a very serious situation right there and it wasn't a time to laugh but then still it was funny mm, yeah but then for that it was like and I feel, I, I feel like for the Justice League, because we don't know the characters, like, yeah, that's what I'm saying, maybe it's because the characters haven't really been introduced to us. Yeah, we feel it is, no, even, no, even that, no, I still disagree with that, even, I just said it and I'm disagreeing with it, because Victor Stone, Cyborg, we don't know his story, but then I feel he was the only one that actually did it for me. Stone? Yes. Because he, you see, he said that he kept on like evolving or learning new things about himself every day. That he kept on updating himself, right? Because he was from the ship, Batman, Superman ship, what's it called? <laughs> that one, <laughs> Kryptonite. Yes. <laughs> or something no, like that. It was the. Um, it was a stone. Yes. It was a stone he was from. Well, yeah. Not from us. Like, like they that used the energy to power yeah. him. Yes. So and then he like. He, he, it's like he's the only one who actually used his potential to everything. If you look at the Wonder Woman movie, right? And then look at how she fought with the what's God that? of War. God of War. He has a name. Ares. Ares. Mm. Uh, God of War. Yes, we have to kiss the God of War. So if you watch how Wonder Woman fought with the God of War and how she fought with the Step Stepping Wolf, you could clearly see that she was holding back. Because if she really, maybe it's because she thought they had like there were other people there to win this war, you could just like, oh, okay, since there are other people here, let me just no, do but, some and then leave some for them to Which makes no sense, you see, because if this is just, it's supposed to be like the best of the best. Once again, Crisis on FX was the best of the best. Like everybody was on their A game, mm -hmm. I was on their A game, Flash, apart from when Flash let Yoba Thong go, which is like, why did he let Yoba Thong go? Because I guess like they're trying to set him up for like a future storyline, but it was just a very sloppy. Yeah, yeah, that part I didn't really like it. Yeah, it was. I'm like, like, you just stab him or something. Yeah, like, him yeah, head. let's see, like, let's see something like. But because he has been beating you like the whole time, he was beating you, beating you, beating you, beating you, beating you. And right now you have the chance. You've seen him. You've got to just like stab him. Just look at yeah, yeah, um, that. That's how that part was something. just was just very jarring. <sighs> just very jarring. Okay, so moment. What what was your favorite moment in Justice League? <laughs> oh, no moments. Justice League. You don't have a favorite moment. The movie, no, 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 no part was nice for you. I don't think I have a favorite moment in Justice League. No, because I'm trying to it's remember. Cold. I'm trying to remember like the movie, and all I'm remembering are like the slow motion movements. Every I, like. Okay, let's talk like, about the fight sequences. Okay. Which fight sequence do you like? Fight sequence. Like between Justice League and. Oh wait, between Justice. Oh no, I like the. Uh, the crisis on FX. Crisis on FX. The, with the fight scene. Yes, because that one, you know, like it's, it's like the fight 
you know like this fight is happening and then you know what both of them are capable of doing so you're expecting it you know the fight you know everything and then it's all it's a fight so it's not okay first of all i just hated the slow motion justice league so i'm just going to be a little bit biased I hated the slow motion in Justice League. Everything was just slow. They're shooting a gun. They are doing this. Like, like, like. Really? Really though. No. <laughs> the slow motion was everywhere. Like you like they are fighting. And it's like 75% slow motion. And then even flash. Even flash. I was so disappointed because Supergirl. Okay, I'll come to this the Supergirl and then Flash in this in the TV series, they've actually had like a one-on-one, -on -one, not like combat, but like like a competition, sort of, to see who's the fastest. And Flash, before he went to his speed force, maybe. yes, before he was trapped in this speed, speed force, force, he was a little bit faster than Supergirl. And right now that he's back, you can see clearly that he's faster than Supergirl. But then again, this is a different Flash, and the Flash in Justice League is like he draws his power from electricity and it's like it's really disheartening because see speed force they're not electricity. Oh me I don't me I don't understand about the speed force. Okay, I, I don't understand it. I'm not coming from person. No, I, I know no I'm just saying like no like okay it looks like he gets his energy, energy from electricity which is actually weird because there's a villain who gets his Pass from electricity. Maybe like, they might not show that bit. But anyways, my point is like for like favorite moments, right? You see, the thing is that Crisis on Ethics was really much like Captain America Civil War. You know, Captain America does the huge fights. Then they were yeah. like, the top pockets of fights. Yeah, like yeah. you see, like there was this huge, huge fight. Well, you know, like I guess it is. Yeah, yeah, all fight each other. But then there's this person's fighting, that person's fighting, that person's fighting. But in in the Justice League, was like stepping wolf is there, like okay. I'm not need a slow no. Yes, yeah, so it's like the rest of the the fight feels very inconsequential. Mm. And that's what I was saying. No, even if okay, you see, stepping over the big bad. But then there were his little demons. The little demons the little demons. The little demons. They were little demons. <laughs> no, but the little demons stuff. Um Wonder Woman could have killed all of them like in one swoop. Or Batman with his no, but Batman, Osha, Osha, no, Osha, no. Well, okay, first, no, first of all, they were like, Batman is getting old. So, so no, let's just no. Go. First of all, Batman, he's a League of Assassin trained person. No, then beat him. Yeah, Omobono, Omobono, yeah. Oh no, that one is true. Like Omobono, ah, no, that's my point. They beat him like a thief. <laughs> like aside that point, what I'm saying is, let's just put that in mind. Like they're all in their prime, and he's like grandfather. Batman. Yeah, but then I feel like that will still like that should still give you like an added advantage. Like you have experience. You see, okay, I think the way I try to play it as an experience factor, but more like old and age. yeah, an old factor. Yeah. But he wasn't he wasn't even that old. Oh. Yeah. I'm not sure he was like fifty. Oh. No, he was like forty. Mm -hmm. And it's true, I get it. He they should have played on the fact that I had experience, so it's like I can predict the movement. Okay, like predict the movement, but like you can guess what they're coming to do because first of all they are. And you, it's true, he trained with the just with the League of Assassins. He's supposed to know better. I'm disappointed in him. They put him in his teeth. And he powers. So overall, Crisis on FX was the better Justice League. It was the Justice League yeah, we were supposed to get, but we didn't get. Because they decided to blow a big budget on um Steppenwolf. You see, Marvel did this thing whereby they built on not known superheroes and made them become this huge like superheroes we follow. But I I didn't know who the hell Iron Man was. I know people who follow comic books knew, but like Iron Man wasn't like a big deal. Ant Man, right now, and in, getting into yeah. like the Avengers Infinity War, War rally, they're even bringing yeah, like right now, look look at it, like right now, Avengers Infinity War has this whole. They have like over thirty superheroes, and each of the thirty superheroes will have known. a stake. Yeah, like you get it, like they'll have a stake. So it will be more interesting to follow the Infinity War than it was to follow Justice League. Yes, there were just six people in Justice League, and also it's supposed to be Green Lantern. Yeah, he came as part of the history people. Really? Yeah. I yeah, no, but he was supposed to like come inside again. No, you see, I think, I th I really think they rushed for with this movie. They should have taken their time because for um, Marvel, right? 
I know it is not a Marvel thing, but then they had Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2. Okay, let's go to Marvel. Very frustrating. <laughs> anyway, so you see, Crisis on Earth X, I get to like we've had six, like five seasons or six seasons of Arrow, we've had four seasons of Flash, we've had three of Supergirl and three of Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah. Like, Crisis on Earth X was way better. <laughs> way better even though like yes yeah, all the cgi was spotted because first of all there's not this tv budget everybody yeah. knows tv budget isn't a lot some of the some of the things were dragged but even at the places where they were dragged it was still saved yeah it's like but, yeah like no it's like okay fine it's dragging but i get it like yeah like, like i'm going to oh, save I, it yeah i'm going to like i'm not going to complain that much i'm just going to save i'm like okay fine it's but just this week so mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> it you was see, just terrible. You, she, uh, the interpersonal relationship we are talking about, right? <clears throat> interpersonal relationship we were talking about. They didn't build it enough for, in, the, for, the, for the Justice jokes. League. Yeah, for, for the, the no, for the Justice Leagues and for the jokes because it's like they, the only time they were together at a place was when they had just gone to take wake Superman from the dead, and then when they boat ship going to the place where stepping wolf was that's when wonder woman's whatever lasso of truth compelled aquaman to say all the things he was saying which was i think that was the only part i actually liked in the whole thing i think that was my favorite moment look at that yeah it's good yeah. anyways so this is the, this is our rant actually i think this isn't like yeah. a part. this mm, is a rant. a rant we came here to rant because look we are tired okay dc mm. You shouldn't do your fans like that. Like we actually pay good money, good money. When I say good money, it's actually like really good money. That's our point. To you watch see? it, and then you just disappoint. I was, I was really disappointed when I when I was done watching it. Which like, is like, and Aquaman is coming next year. <sighs> see, it's like they are playing jokes with our hearts. It's because because um, Batman versus Superman, oh, was to me was really nasty. It was nasty. It was and then Wonder Woman was actually good. So I had high hopes going into Justice League, and then they disappointed me. So right now I don't know if I should have high hopes going into Aquaman, Aquaman or I should just like do the whole franchise. Away. Yeah, and then, okay, I hear there's going to be a director's cut of Justice League. Okay, hopefully, so fully, that's way better. Yeah, let's just pray and hope that it is better. So catch me on my next video, and let me know what series you want me to do a year or nay on, or a check in on. Well, like what are we checking in on, or what are we doing a year or nay on? So. Subscribe to my channel, right? Like, honestly, just subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos. Yeah, we should, we should. We should, we should. Check out my other videos that are going to be around here somewhere. And then I'll see you on my next video.